What's up everyone? Uh, this is Moon City playing a game that's still in beta called Durango. It is a huge world. There's several different islands. Um, you start off with this place and you build. You're in an island with dinosaurs and you want to survive. Um, you have to eat. You have to get materials, you gotta build a house. Um, I, this is my little bit of land. I picked this area because I have, have everything that's in this square is mine. Nobody can take it. Uh, that's a fish trap I put right there. Nobody can touch it, take it, or anything else. That's why I picked this property. Um, there's also Lots of berries and stuff behind. Uh, there's some stock in there that I can take. I need that to build most everything. Um, we did, I did, we have a clan. If it comes up, there it is. Okay, I just made it. There is only one other member with me right now. Dallin X Core is also in our band channel. Uh, there is two other members that I know of that from non toxic gamers that got in uh, this the beta testing. APOC is one of them. Uh, now there's one other one. Hopefully another some more non-toxic gamers get codes to get in here. This is Dallin's uh, house. Little property he has. His is bigger than mine. He also is a couple levels higher than I am. So I only have one little square. He gets two little squares. Um, I have a little basket right there where I can actually put stuff in that's what's in there right now part of a snowman old clothes um, if you just kind of let your guy sit there you get these little three little options right here you pick the one that has the crown you actually get the pick of what um, other people can do. If you want, if somebody's on our friends list, they can uh, have a portion of it. An outsider can't use anything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now, oh, the map. The map of this thing is huge. I mean, this is, I've only explored this little bit right here. But I did do a whole outline of the whole island, the whole island, and it is just a massive place. And there's a couple different islands that you can actually get to. Oh, and the other reason I picked this is because there is a warp right there, that little circle thing right there. Um, I'll go to that so that you can see the other islands. There you go, you see some dinosaurs. These are random fish traps that anybody can uh, use. Now let's go down to that warp. Closer. Let's cross there. Go for a swim. Alright, there is the warp. Okay, if you go to the warp, you can go to any place you want on the island. But it costs you 
each warp is has different cost. Now I'm going to take the quickest one to show you to show off the uh, other islands that this game has. So there he goes. And he shows up over here. The only way you can see the other islands is you have to go to the harbor. Now, I'm still learning what this is. These islands seem to have a time limit of how long they last. This one looks like it has 10 hours and 2 minutes left. I, I'm assuming that you go here and you can get more experience and stuff there. But going to the stable sea, there's a bunch of little islands. And there's a main island right there, right in the middle. That's where we are right now. Now I'll go back to warp. I'll show you the ability to build stuff. You have to eat, you have to drink, pretty much everything. Sleep, as you see, I'm almost. He's not very happy right now because he's been running around trying to explore this island. See what all there is. Now, this is someone that's got their level up pretty high. Don't know. How you see what level he is, but as you can see, he's got little pet dinosaurs. Which is pretty cool, I can't wait to get that. So this guy's got a lot of stuff. And there are trading posts that I can go to, that you can go to. Get things that you can't. Uh, lower levels can't really get, but if you have enough uh, money, currency, you can get them. Alright, we're home. Right, this is a furnace that I actually took. Somebody had it outside their boundary walls, and I took it. So here's how you cook food. I have a furnace. You can have a fire pit. Craft it. Hit craft. Now you can pick what you want. You got, I got fish here, raspberries, you can roast them, cook them, a sweet potato, some clams. So, how about we cook a fish? I need a stick for it. There we go, we're cooking it. Okay, now it's undercooked right now. So you go back into it, craft, craft, you find the one you just did, this new right there, undercooked fish screw. So I'm going to click that, select that and that, and you cook it again, now it's well cooked. So yeah, you can go into your bag, find it. Um, If I can find it. Where is it? Usually, it's, there it is. A little new next to it. Well cooked fish screw. Eat.
and he likes it. The meat is juicy and delicious. So that's good. Now if we just go in there, he, he will eat pretty much anything. This clam isn't cooked or anything, I just found it on near the ocean. So it hasn't been cooked, nothing. He can eat it, but he doesn't like it. P.U., the fishy order is filling my whole mouth. It tastes horrible. So he will eat it, and he doesn't really happy with it. No, he will get fatigued faster. So we are going to go over here. He's not happy right now. And here you go, basic tent. I already set it as a home. You can actually teleport, use the warp, and go right to there. And you hit rest. Any rest, and he gets happy. So. Here's my little quick little video, the new game Durango, so far it's pretty cool, the graphics are good, the area, the map is huge, so, and there's several different islands, so you really can't bump into other people, there are some areas that are like overpopulated and crowded, but we kind of went away from that. On an area where we don't have to worry about people mm -hmm. bumping into us. And the pig pick, uh, sent me a message. But, um, there we go. Please like and subscribe. Bye.